Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at FSR 3.0 frame generation mod for Ratchet and Clank and I'm playing this on my Steam Deck, Steam OS. So this is without the mod. I'll show you what the performance is without the mod, then I'll show you the performance with the mod. And later in the video I'll show you how to install the mod on Steam Deck's desktop mode. So let me show you my settings right now. This is without the mod, so display and graphics. It's on full screen, 1280 by 720. V-Sync off. And upscaling is using FSR 2.1. Quality mode. Upscale sharpness, 7. And graphics, I've set it to high preset. And my Steam Deck is on the Steam OS 3.5.7. This is the latest stable release as of recording. And for my Steam Deck, you can see on Performance tab, I've only um, enabled disabled frame limit and everything else is is uh, disabled. And then on Power Tools, I've got SMT enabled, 8 threads and Governor set to Performance. So that's it. And I've got Cryo Utilities on, on recommended settings with 4 gigabytes of VRAM. That's my settings. And yeah, I'm getting like... 30-ish frames which is pretty good actually like this game is pretty good with um, FSR 2.1 because I remember when the game came out uh, I wasn't running too good on the Steam Deck but now with I think with um, FSR 2.1 it's actually not that bad like if you lower the settings maybe to performance and like medium settings or low settings I'm pretty sure you get a good performance but you know 30 frames is not bad not bad okay so yeah that's enough of this uh, let me show you with the mod on so let me quit the game i've already done all the settings in desktop mode so i've already moved all the mod files to the correct directories so all i need to do here is enable the launch options so let me enable the launch options. I'll put the launch option code in the description so you can just copy it. So I'm going to enable Wine DLL overrides. So this launches the mod. So let's run the game again. We should get a um, mod window. Yep, this one. And we the mod has like made the game think that we're using an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090. So you can see here, it thinks that we're using an RTX 4090, but we're playing on a Steam Deck. That what the, that is what the mod does. That enables us to use DLSS, but in fact, it's actually FSR 3. But we need to like enable DLSS in the option settings in order to enable FSR 3. Yeah, hope that makes sense for you. Okay, go to our game. You go to settings, you have to go to display and graphics. And now on the upscale method, we have to change to DOSS. This wasn't like DOSS wasn't an option before the mod because we're playing on the Steam Deck. It doesn't have that option. But now because the game thinks we're using an RTX 4090, we can change it to DOSS. So I'm just going to keep everything exactly the same. That's how we're going to compare the game with and without the mod. So now the mod is turned on. We're now using FSR 3.0. Let's load the game to where we were. Okay. Okay, so you can see now we've got like 40-ish frames. 40-ish 50 compared to the 30 frames that we got before like before we got 20 is 30 so yeah pretty good pretty good boost but you can see like uh, we do get some ui flickering not a lot it's it's pretty good it's not a lot I think some games are worse. This game, like, it's not too bad. Oh, 
right, we're getting like 50, uh, 60 here. Right. Yeah, so the mod definitely works for this game. It's just that we need to iron out that flickering. Because I think I'll like I'd rather play without the mod on. Because like it's not too bad. Like FSR 2.1 for this game, it's not that bad. It runs pretty good on the Steam Deck. So you know, I'd rather play the game without the flickering. But I'm pretty sure it might get ironed out soon. Like games like Alan Wake 2, Cyberpunk. I've I've been playing that with this mod on and it doesn't have it doesn't have uh flickering or it doesn't have ghosting anymore it's been fixed nope all right so yeah i think i'll leave it here you know what you're getting into so i'll see you back in desktop mode where i'll show you how to install the mod so see you back in desktop mode Welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. Here I'm going to show you how to install the FSR 3.0 mod onto Ratchet & Clank with the part. But before we get started, I'd like to introduce you to my new channel, Growing Up Cooking. Other than gaming, cooking is also a passion of mine. So I'm planning to show you some of my cooking recipes on this channel. It's currently got 139 subscribers, so I really need your support. It's a brand new channel. I've got a recipe up right now. It's a cheese lobster recipe. So go over and take a look. I'll show you some clips right now. Alright, we're going to kill it. Are you ready? Oh my god. So did you enjoy what you saw? If you did, watch the full video on the new channel, Growing Up Cooking. Links in the description. Alright, let's get back to our game. First, you need to locate your game folder where the exe is. So you can see here, riftapart.exe. I have it here. Here's where we're going to extract the mod files. And you also need to go take a look at the compatibility list. So I've got it opened up right here. And Ratchet and Clank is right here. You can see we need to use the SDK version. All right. And also here it says true, the fake NV GPU. So we need to trick the game in thinking we're using an NVIDIA GPU. So how do we do that? Go to your mods. So Luke FC mods. Okay, and then I'm going to use the latest version as of recording. It's 0.7.3. And then we're going to use the SDK SIP. So this one. Okay, and then go back to our game. I'm going to extract all these files to the root of the game where the exe is. Okay, I'm going to overwrite because I already have it. If it's your first time, you don't need to overwrite anything. And then we also need to extract this. Extract the enable fake GPU. Right, because we want to fake it, we want to trick the game in thinking we have a NVIDIA GPU. Okay, put this in, and yeah, that's it. That's it. And then go to your game, go to your game, and make sure you have um, the launch options. So I'll copy the launch options in the description so you can copy that. You don't have to write it, you don't have to type it out. You might make a mistake. So launch the game and you should have a launch window. Okay. You have a launcher and then go to settings. Go to settings and if it's on full screen, I think we get an error. Let's let's try it out. Try it out. If it's like the same as Spider-Man, because if you're doing this with Spider-Man, if you're running it on full screen, you get this error. I think it's the same. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got to get this error. Yep, you see that? We get the error. Okay. So what you need to do, it's very simple. You just change it to windowed mode. Or exclusive full screen also works. Okay, okay. It's just something simple. Just change it to windowed. Okay. And run it. And it should work. Yep, there you go. You see, now the game works. See if we can boot into the title screen. Looking good. Yeah, I think it's it's fine. 
So yeah, I'll probably leave it here. Um, if you like what you saw, if this helped you out, please let me know in the comments and also like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.